Hello, my name is Dominic Underhall House and welcome to another episode of Moonbreaker. First of all, I want to say happy 2023 to everyone. I hope you had a fantastic celebration. I hope you can have a fantastic year. I'm really excited for things to come this year going ahead for Moonbreaker, for the channel, for me personally. I'm really excited for what we've got going ahead. So hopefully that continues for all of you as well. And I figured to start the year off, let's just do something nice and easy and jump straight into a cargo run. So I've seen a few things just you know, sitting around with people doing things on the Discord. And one of the challenges I've really enjoyed the look of is seeing how beefy you can get a Maximus. So if I remember rightly, yeah, we are. The exterior list does start with a Maximus. So what we're going to do is everything that we do is going to be trying to buff up Maximus if we can. If can't, we'll just switch and we'll do something else and have a lot of fun with it regardless. But we're going to jump into a cargo room straight away and see what we can do from there. If you enjoyed this content, please do just hit that subscribe button. We've actually just hit 150 subscribers yesterday on New Year's Eve, so that's a great end to the year. That's really, you know, you've made me quite happy there. We're averaging about 50 subscribers a month at the moment, but what we're hoping is that with a few more releases, a few more content, the game picks up a bit more steam, and then so can the channel as well. And I'd love to hit a thousand subs by the end of the year so we can then start working towards that monetization and actually you know, making a real go of this. So, jump into some cargo runs straight away and trying to get Maximus to do as much damage as possible. I've seen some of these where he's got like 10 attack, I've seen him getting like over 20 health, I've seen him with rapid fire poison, so the main thing is just going to be keeping him alive as best as possible and there's going to be some bosses that that makes it very difficult to do. Uh, Ecti Overcharge is possibly one of them but we just need to keep safe here. So Medical Recall could actually be our best friend here. We really want to keep Maximus safe, so let's just bring Medical Recall in. And I think we're going to have to make a very cautious turn 1 deployment, just to make sure that we don't take any hits from Ecti immediately. So we've got no crates so far, see what we can find. Hopefully some good ones drop. And the thing with Maximus, because he's got the whole move, shoot, move thing, there's a good chance he can actually find his way to boxes as well. No boxes at all yet, so we're just going to have to go straight for a little bit of damage. Hide ourselves back Want over here. And, right over here. and we'll just keep moving exterior forward out of line of sight of Ecti to make them come forwards. And one thing I always do in this is I never play Tetonia because I feel like you're better off just using the Cinder on Chuck and Co next turn. So not worried about that on that front. We force that out a little bit. We can just keep hiding away with exterior from here. Okay, that miss is good for us as well. Okay, so still no crates. That's the first three turns of the entire game with not a single crate dropping. That's pretty worrying as far as we're concerned. Okay, so we're not quite going to get in range. We can bring down a Furia or a Florio. We could actually just bring down Chuck, which I think is probably the better bet here. I think we're actually just going to run straight towards them and block the route off with Chuck. Uh, because we're trying to keep our units alive, we're not as worried about our captain health. So I'm actually just going to shield hope here, maybe. Or I could just save it for Fury, actually. I'm going to save the Cinder for next turn. So what we don't want is them to get out of uh, out of line of sight of Maximus. I still can't believe we haven't had any crate drop in our first three turns. Okay, so this is, again, a little bit more difficult in terms of deployment. This could start hurting here. And they got a crit as well. Okay. We've got our first crate. It's we've got crit and additional attack, both that can go onto Maximus quite easily. So we're going to have to take some risks here. We need to really start chipping away some damage. We can get into range with all these, so we'll send Max in first just for the extra crit damage. Uh, you know what? Where can we deploy? Yeah, we should have actually stayed back here and maybe deployed Maximus that way, but we're just going to block them off anyway. So, I don't think we actually need to deploy much anymore. I think we just go for the damage and try and kill them next turn. So, we've got five, six, seven now, potentially eight. Yeah, I think we've got this. Crit's nice. We'll come in here, do the same. Oh, another crit as well. Uh, so, we're not hugely in need of tossing it, but we might as well. Get down there. Uh, here we are going to shield upon ourself. There's nothing else that really heals things here, so end the turn. Make it hard for him to kill Max, and we're going to buff Max up. So he's going to be 3 attack with an extra 50% crit. So that's going to be a really solid 
option there. I'm assuming this probably goes at Chuck, maybe? Oh, no, go in, Captain. Okay, that miss is important for us, because we just need to save Cinder and heal off. So actually, we shouldn't have spent that Cinder. We should have just relied on the miss here, but... At your service. Let's go with... This first. Swift as a sexy and let's just move Chuck out of the way, because we can... We can guarantee this if we get a single hit. There we go. Perfect. So there was nothing we could medical recall to heal there. We didn't want to deploy anything. That was actually really low in terms of drops. But luckily both of them did buff Max. So we're going to start just pushing Max as far as he can go. We've currently got 6 damage with 50% crit. So that's a really good start. We want some tankiness here though. So looking at relics and things. There's some things I'd, uh, I'd really be happy to take. Things like stimulating formula would be ridiculous in this. Uh, the impact munitions would be good as well. Because you've got stimulating formula and impact munitions, you can just ping pong things back and forth. But also with Maximus, you can move in, shoot something, knock it away, use your next move to move further as well. Okay, Dimmy and Snull. Disruptor and Blink is just really good. But Ion Storm and Medical Recall could be better for what we're trying to do. I think we want to just stick with Disruptor Blink. It's just the best options. Uh, so unit gaining rapid fire pummel doesn't do anything for us because the thing that we're I am in working towards already has rapid fire and pummel. The question is, can we place something safely over here? I think what we're going to do is actually just place Max over here and rely on not being hit. So we'll just collect this for something else next turn. And then maybe even just like move down here, shoot, move back kidding. this way or something like that. Either way, we just want to make it so that Maximus is the one that survives. Okay, so we've got him mobilized. Oh, is, is he rapid fire already? Wow. Rapid fire on Moon 2 is pretty unfair. Okay, so we can get an angle in there. Actions cannot be so now we're going to have to actually deploy Detonia to do anything useful. Just to pick something up. I think we do have to go for the defensive movement here. We can't let Max die. We could go for the Balam, but I think this is probably better because we've got seven units anyway. We just need to get one hit here of 250%. Oh no. Okay, well now we've just got to hope they don't shoot Max. That's awful. We might lose the uh, you lose the challenge immediately. Okay, if they go here, they're not going for Max, which is good. That's also fine. Missing one of those is great as well. So, Max can kill Antios. That's the deal here. We need to find other ways of dealing with all this going on. So we've got Neck Divine could be good. Unit gaining one attack. That's what we need. I forgot my lucky cravat. So can we fit through that gap is the question. Let's try it. Okay, we did get one hit. So I think we actually try and push Max around and then hide behind that big head. So let's push him around. Oh no, we can't. Okay, so we're just going to have to hide here. Plenty of mistakes all around at this point. I didn't realise we were actually stuck there. Okay, we've got that, which is nice. Oh no, we put him here. Shield of Hope Max. Life gives you lemons. Throw grenades. Uh, we can't even lob at anything. This was a terrible turn. Oh dear. I thought we could fit through the gap. We couldn't. And I didn't realise we were out of... Uh, we'd be in range of Antios. Oh no, he's got Pummel as well. So if he activates, we actually just lose Max here. Oh no. We can't lose Max. Please. Oh, they don't have enough to activate, so that's good. Okay, so we've got armor and one attack. So we want to push. Okay, Stilio can move again. This is good news. We just need to find a way to make him not die. So maybe Exterior has to be the one that... What's this? Let's get Nectivine. That will help. So here we're going to just try and kill Antios. Push that damage lead. Come on, hit both. We did. Perfect. Uh, I think Snarling is our sacrifice play here, but we want to try and get Balam in the process. Try and get this hit for 66. We don't care as much about Detonia. Did miss, unfortunately. Oh, 
What have we got here? One attack and armor. That was what we were going for, wasn't it? So let's just move up this way. We must do Who can this. we deploy here? Fury could do a good job. We put Fury back here around the Nectarvine. And does me. this target anyone? I don't think it does. No, so we've only got Shield of Hope from here, which doesn't really do anything. So let's pass My this. Again, we're just getting closer and closer to getting Maximus up. We might not even use Maximus to kill things this turn. It might be other things we use for that. Okay, it's so a snailing die, but we've got Balam for next turn. And we've also got a target for Max here, which is good. Because most importantly is getting Max buffed up. So we're just going to shoot Tonya. Just need to get one of these, I believe. There we go. We can hold both of these points. Now, the question is, do we just sacrifice Furia, or do we try and sacrifice Balam? So they're going to be able to move up here, so they're going to be able to get a shot on Furia, which, but it won't theoretically kill her. So to just push extra damage next turn, we're going to be healing from Neck Divine here. I actually think, maybe, we just pop Florio down here to push a bit of damage in next turn, and move Exilio this way to try and save ourselves a bit of damage and yeah no so to, sorry to pick up more damage for the future turns this could be the play be I, if they kill Balam, we're absolutely fine with that that's great and especially if they then move towards us we're now in a position where we can actually potentially push a lot of damage onto them that's your can service. we get good line of sight with max we can run. it's fine i'm fine I forget so we'll just we'll pick this up here uh, that was thicket. So Let we can use it. We can get them down to ten. We can use this for eight, and then we just need one hit from Max. So let's just see what happens with Fury. If Fury hits, we can go for this. But if not, we'll just sacrifice her. Okay, she did hit. So I think we just go for the hit in this respect, as in. Go for it, yeah. Much better chance here. And with the extra crit, there we go. We could actually do it. With seven hits in the left as well, we've healed our captain. Maximus is starting to look like a monster. We've got eight damage off of him minimum per turn at the moment. I thought we were going to start losing that. When I saw Dimian Snow getting rapid fire that early on, that was terrifying. So we haven't had a single relic drop yet. And we've picked up almost every crate that we can that wasn't just a character. We've lost a couple, but I'm okay with this. Max is looking pretty strong. I'm more than happy with how this is turning out. This is kind of the sort of thing I wanted to try. I need to remember who it was on the Discord that's posted these. There was someone who's posted like three or four of their best Maximuses, and I feel really bad for not being able to remember their name. Okay, so here, Stimburst and Vortex seems good, but I think I'm gonna go for Nano Shield just to protect Max when we come to it. Because if we lose Max to Yin Gaoshua, we're in a lot of trouble. I am However, here, because they're melee not ranged, we can just deploy Max as far forward as, ca as we can with Arya as backup. And start getting some uh, good damage in. So, they've got additional crit chance and pummel on our opponent here. But that doesn't mean that we're in a bad spot. What's up here? Restore health and Antios. Both of those are fine, I guess. So we're just going to move in here, take as much damage off as we can. Double crit. We're going to just fly through this, I think. That should be out of my range yet, so we'll just move back here with Arya. Honestly, the way this has gone, I think we just still miss and go for this. They can only move up to here. We can't get in range, so if we just stop here, there's nothing we even need to do. We should be able to get a kill next turn, in theory. Yeah, this should be a kill. As long as they don't have a good deployment. Right, what's this? Unit gains armor. So I'm actually just going to shoot this and then... So Exilior can spin and hit her and then still get the armor. So let's just do that. Uh, because we're going to hit our Arya, but Arya's going to heal anyway. And giving our captain armor seems like a great choice because Maximus already has it. So we're just going to pop right over here. 
get the big finish. This was only healing, so we haven't got any other crates that actually buff Maximus whatsoever. Otherwise, I would have delayed the game to go for them. Yeah, given that Max's crit chance is up, it's actually probably more like 5 damage per, per shot on average, I'd say. Because 25% of the shots are going to be 6 damage, 25% of them are going to be 5 damage. So it's probably close to like 4.75. Okay, so I'd, I'd love it if we can get Maximus even bigger than this. It would be great, but we haven't seen enough crates, we're just doing too good. What have we got? There are some captains that would be a real challenge for this. Something like um, Acid Maker Matek would be brutal. Vora could be very hard for us as well. So, on that front, I think Vortex and Stasis are really good here. Nano Shield is also really good to protect our max, but Vortex and Stasis have got that extra utility. Unit permanently gains 5 max health. That's what we want. So, let's just deploy Maximus here in the smoke, keep him safe. That's a great one. Okay, so we want to just move. We want to keep behind this because this is low visibility, it's not soft cover. So Vora doesn't ignore this. Now Max is looking a bit more like it. Oh, we've got that weird bug where you've got the sort of the movement angles. Got oh, this one. Oh dear. Oh, the double crit. Okay. Well, that changes all of my plans. I now want to hide away. That's terrifying. We won't let up. What have we got? Uh, heroic Amulet, is that there when he captain destroys a rival? Yeah. We're not really going for captain kills, so I'm not as I've into that, to be completely soon. honest. I think, given that we can't get a line of drum dancer, I'm just going to go for the Vora shot here. We should hit one of these. There we go. Got both, in fact, which is nice. Hide back here. Honestly, I think I'm just going to save our Cinder. We're going to try and make them come to us. Oh, they can still just have that angle. Okay, yeah, this is not good. In fact, we can kill this. Can Antios get in range? No. So next turn we can kill Drum Dancer, potentially take two. What's this? Restore three health to a unit. We should probably go for that, to be honest, but Defense Dome also works. So we need to find max an angle on someone, but... This doesn't really help. We could pick up the heroic amulet afterwards and let them exterior escape because, as much as this is all about getting uh, as much damage as we can done with Maximus, there's no point whatsoever. Oh, we're actually out of range. You know what? I've got a plan for this. I'm going to move back here. I'm just going to vortex into that in a second uh, because if we vortex just here. Keep ourselves nice and safe. Don't use any real resources. We can sort of justice this and then attack it to refresh our abilities. Move back here. And just pop down. Let's pop down Aria. So next turn we want Vora to move up close, and then we can move Exterior over here to save him. Yep, gain some health back, and we can start pushing damage onto Vora. Yes, yeah, so this is good for us, this movement. Because both Arya and uh, Maximus should be able to do good damage here. Ooh, that's not good. But we've also got the stun. We should... Okay, one of them did hit, but that's fine. Here we've got Deadeye. Reduce assist cost. That's great news. So we want to come over here and get a hit. Okay, we did get one. We're going to reduce the assist cost anyway. Stilio's gonna heal up. Uh, Aria, we just want to see if we can get line of sight with. No more can that's perfect. Uh, what have we got here? I actually think it might just be a nectarvine first. Get that extra heal out. Get our attack off here, and we'll stun them. In fact, what we'll do is we'll vortex them closer and then stun them. Because then we've got more things in here in range for next turn. We can bring them even closer and we can almost guarantee the kill if we need to. So I think Nectarvine is nearly sort of irrelevant here because it's cost us four cinder and we're going to heal for four, so it doesn't make much difference. Okay, so that's a vortex, that doesn't do anything here. Okay, I think we've got this. Luckily, none of these are 
things that we particularly need to worry about. So, we want to heal as much as possible, so we're not actually going to take any risks here. We're going to shoot this first. We did miss, but then we're going to come over here and just collect ourselves a dead eye for the future. Vora is going to get hopefully killed by this. If you can. There we go. Yeah, we go. Perfect. I was getting a little bit concerned because I wanted to make sure we healed on Nixtilior, and I should have really saved the Vortex for this. But I thought Max probably had it, and I wanted to get a Dead Eye to pair with Maximus for next time. And the Heroic Amulet was very much a utility pickup. You know, it wasn't a. Uh, it wasn't a. Oh, we're trying to make a you know broken. Uh, a broken Maximus. It wasn't part of our end game, but it's a really useful thing. Max is going to carry this whole thing. I really think this is possible with a 4 9. That's brilliant. This isn't even the biggest max by a long shot. I've seen way bigger on the on the Discord, so hopefully we'll be doing a few more of these challenge videos, especially if Cargo Run gets some nice updates as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing what they can do with Cargo Run, how difficult they make it, how long the runs can be. I think it Ooh, Master Telepi. Okay. So we've got scatter lines everywhere. No orbital. I think Disruptor Nano Shield is just great. We don't need corrosive. Anymore. What have we got here? Impact munitions, unit gains three attack. I mean, let's just get all of those things. Do we even need impact munitions? I don't think we do. I think at this point we'd, we're just better off running forwards. We wanted Max to get that so we can get the big, uh, big damage next turn. They could just move forwards and we could potentially hit them for. Well, 14 plus crits. Yep, yeah, so that's the deployment. Anywhere they're going to move. It would be great if we had a heroic amulet that worked for a crew member. We could just refresh Maximus forever. Clear mind. Okay, so they got, if they move Antios up here, I'm just going to kill Antios and then hide. So we've got Crosshair here. So any one of these hits on Crosshair, just. Oh, sorry, on Antios. There we go. Crit for nine. Okay, so they can't get into range no matter what, so we just pick up this. Calculate. Oh, we've got too many units already. Okay, that's fine. We're just gonna we're gonna move this way because Extilio might actually get trapped behind this. And we'll pop Dead Eye down. So Telepi can't get quite behind this little gap, so we'll just pop Dead Eye down here. Well, this means we've got all this damage coming from Maximus next turn. We've got Disruptor. Maximus with a tiptoe die. These get just get one shot, but we just want to focus on Telepi if we can. I mean, we probably just kill Maximus first. Stretch those spots well, if we got our shield, we could just defend and not even have to think about it. Cooperate. Another Scatterboy, yeah. Extilio was actually really good in this matchup as well because he's got the spin, he can just start dishing out damage. Got some more Scatterbones here. Oh, now we're trapped. Well, let's just... Let's do something like... Can we get all this quite how we want it? Not particularly, but can we do... That's more like it. So this gives us Maximus a little bit more option. Okay, so honestly, I'm just going to Ozo's onto Max and just start chipping at their captain. I say chip it. Take huge, huge chunks of their life total away. Uh, don't have anything else to do here, so we'll just... I guess she would have hoped Extilio, because I don't think Max is going to really struggle. Move Max back to, say, here. And we should, we've got a good chance of getting this next turn. We can just... Like, our Maximus doesn't take anything. He's hitting for 14 a turn plus crits. And has accuracy and has armor. There's no point in even doing anything because he's got as much health as anything. He might even like be able to solo the captain in two turns. Because I don't think we hit him with anything other than two from this. So yeah, in theory, we could actually solo the captain, which is absolutely bonkers. So he should actually he should heal. So maybe not quite solo, but pretty close. Is that the turn? This is just going to be a huge max finish. This is completely nuts. We don't even need to. Yep, it's armor. We've got armor already. So let's just push this. Can we get all 50? Yes, there we go. 
Maximus carrying the whole run. That was brilliant. That was exactly what we wanted. This little guy is swift as a sexy stream. Running around tippy toe timing people and just clonking them for 7 14 damage. That was great. I love Cargo Run. There's so much fun to be had, and being able to get like a beefy Maximus is one of the really just entertaining things you can do because you're guaranteed him on turn one every game, and you can just make something really, really stupid. So, absolutely love that. Hopefully, you guys did as well. A nice sort of laid back video for the first one of the year gonna hopefully have loads more things to come i've got a little notebook next to me full of ideas we've got i think i've got currently like more than enough ideas to last us until the next content drop but i'm still always looking for new ones i've got plenty more things i want to do i want to hear from you guys and all in all just i really want this to be like a community thing so if you guys want to see something let me know i'll try and get it sorted as well if you guys have enjoyed the video please do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already uh push is going for 250 subs at the moment so 150 yesterday was a huge you know, big thumbs up for me love to see that but we've got a little way to go to the next goal so let's hopefully push towards that as well drop a comment down below like the video and most importantly have a good day